I'm back. Well, what have we got today? Well, actually, if you've been watching some of my other videos, you'll know what we got today. Look at all these tiny little pieces of things here. Oh, well, what's that about? Well, it's a digital wireless Lavalier microphone system, or Lavalier, <laughs> depending where you come from. Anyway, what it's really about is this little thing. There, you can see. And on a lot of my videos, every time I banged on the table, or even touch the table sometimes, the camera uh, was so sensitive on its uh, microphone that you get this big, you know. It's a bit of a problem. Uh, it's a big problem when you're making videos. And it's be a big problem when you're doing all other stuff as well. If you're doing presentation of any kind of uh, equipment or presentations to you know, an audience, things like that. Well, then you really want to get away from the mic on the camera, the one up there. That's, as I said, that's a good one. But you'll see people walking around with them like this as well. But I think it's much nicer if you've just got this little black thing sticking out. And uh, <laughs> there you have it. Yeah. Well, hey, listen. This is no new system. It's been around a, a, a bit of a while. Uh, and they make lots of different models of it. A 35, I think this one is. I think they make a 55 and a 75. Something like that. But they're all basically very similar. Obviously, they, some have got the microphones with them and things like that. But uh, this has got a microphone, but it's just a, a different type. You can use them for singing. You can use them for all sorts of things. But... I'm using it for this, and uh, that's why I bought it. Now, here's a little story behind when I bought it, uh, which I'm going to cover right now, so we can get that out of the way. Yeah, so I went and looked around uh, on the internet, as they say in north of here, <laughs> or the internet to the rest of us, and uh, I found these, uh, and they were all listed at £184, give or take a pound, Every one of them. Yeah. I must tell you something. The only problem was, the one of them was cheaper. £149. So I thought to myself, hey, I'm on a winner here. I'll go and buy one from the 149 quid guy. It's the same device, same warranty, same everything really. Yeah. So I placed my order on a Saturday night. Yeah, as you do. And uh, I was looking forward. It said, yeah, we've taken your money. First thing, they've taken the money. So there's the offer. There's the acceptance. And then there has to be a thing called consideration in English law for contracts. Anyway, cutting a long story short, I got an email on the Monday saying, oh, yeah, hi, Mr. McKenzie. It's all great. There's just two problems. <laughs> we says, the first problem is we haven't got it in stock. Nice. Well, the system said they had, but don't worry about that. The second problem was, oh no, we're not we're not selling it for one forty nine. We're selling it for one eighty two. But because you've had a problem, we'll knock you five pounds off. That's about eight dollars, guys. And I thought, who are these morons? <laughs> I thought to myself, you know, I could sit here and name them. Honestly, I could. It, it'd do. My great pleasure to be able to tell you. I just want to highlight the issue that it doesn't matter where you go with Line 6 products. They're all price fixed. Every single dealer, every single one of them, the same old 6 or 7 in the UK. You go and do the internet searches for the gear, you'll see it lists them across with nice little pictures. And they're the same 5 or 6 or 7 numbers, uh, names of these people, and the same price right across the board and this guy that sold me the one for 149 was all apologetic but he said push off yeah that's what you get in the music business in particular the line six gear and others i am going to name in due course not on this video but i'll get you the examples and then i'm going to complain yeah i'm going to complain to the people in the house of commons yeah see what they say because price fixing is illegal it's illegal in America, and it's illegal in the UK. These dealers, honestly, unbelievable. So that's a story of how you get ripped off in buying 
a Line 6 product, probably any kind, they're all the same. Anyway, enough of that. Let's move on and look at the product. And I ain't selling them one, by the way. If you don't like them, don't buy it. <laughs> yeah, so you get one of these things. All it is, it's got... I'm not going to do much on this. I wanted to get the story across, really. It's got six channels here. And it, it operates at 2.4 gigahertz, which is exactly where the Wi-Fi hang, hangs out in the rest of the world. But it doesn't interfere because there's some very clever little technology inside this. I'm not going to bore you with all the sales and all the crap of what these people tell you. Uh, all I'm going to say is at 2.4 gigahertz, you don't get a problem, uh, which is useful, really. Uh, and the other good thing about it is, unlike all the other old wireless systems that are out there, or older wireless systems, whether they be VHF in the 100 odd meg, or the UHF at the 450s or 420 megs and this sort of area, this 2.4 gig one doesn't need a license where all them others do. And I don't know if you know this, in particular in the UK, Ofcom, which is the controller of the, 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 the frequencies uh, in the UK, often goes out to sites and they catch bands using this gate type of gate, not this one, not the 2.4, but the other frequencies that are either on illegal frequencies or they've got no license and they do you for it. Remember I told you. So check your radio gear and uh, make sure you've got something that's either got licenses with it, it's on the right frequencies, or you've got a 2.4 gig one uh, that doesn't seem to matter anymore. I think that's a better idea. Anyway, back to it. Six channels, and you can have all six channels going at once, by the way, so if you've got more of these things, <clears throat> you get this little device. This one's got the mic plugged into it. It's on channel one, and uh, you can turn it on and off and stuff like that. All pretty good. Runs off a couple of batteries for up to eight hours, they say. I like the up to. It's usually about an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, we've got uh, transmit and receive statuses. Two greens on this one. Well, there would be a, a foot. We've got a power. And uh, if I was to scream in there, well, I saw it flash. You'll probably be overloaded now, but don't worry. Around the back, we've got power. We've got this mic lead which comes off a uh, balanced out and we've got an unbalanced one if you want to go to a desk or something I don't know, depends whatever anyway, that's basically about it it's all pretty simple and it just works and you can hear it right now I don't think it's uh, it's a particularly bad sound in fact it's a big improvement over the boom 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 that used to be on there what I was going to tell you quickly oh I did print something off I would, wouldn't I? Now one thing, I'm not going to go and open it up and mess around inside. There's no real point on this. Line 6 is line 6. It's made wherever it's made and it is what it is. And I hate the, dis the, uh, the distribution and the price fixing. So I'm not going to go inside and show you any of that. I'm just going to show you the product. And I've got one uh, over there. Actually, it is over there. Uh, that I'm going to show you by a company called Proel. Uh, which is on a separate uh, video than this one. Because that's for guitar. And that was 99 quid, still at 2.4 gigahertz. And this was 182. Go figure. Anyway, this one it says here, patented line 6 digital wireless technology, it's fourth generation. So what? That's 2.4 gig. That's a 2.4 gig broadcast, license free worldwide, it says. Well, I already said that, didn't I? Simple setup, you turn it on. <laughs> Choose a channel and away you go. Clear visual status, that's talking about the microphones actually, but this is the visual status on this one. Pretty uh, simple to see. I can bore you with this crap. Mix and match, you can have uh, these type. You can have the microphones, you can have all the other bits. So it'll all mix and match. Funnily enough, so does the one down there. Yeah, mixes and matches. Pro construction, well, looks plastic to me. That's, that's about as pro as engineered to go the distance. I don't think so. Wine 6, 20th anniversary, who cares? Now we've got the appendices and the specification and the spec says 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz, da 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 da, da six channels, 2.4 gig ISM band, sounds good. 
RF signal strength, three segment, da 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 da, audio preference, LED, da da da, and on it goes. It's all basically, it has to operate within the licensing specification for that 2.4 gig channel around the world. So no matter what they tell you, it meets the criteria. It can't have a higher output, it can't this, it can't that, it can't have spurious signals floating around or anything like that. It is what it is. It's got a CE sticker on the back and it's uh, made in Canada by the look of it. Uh, or China, it doesn't really... Uh, no, it's made in China. <laughs> Patent pending, made in China. So there's your £182 made in China product. It's got a CE sticker on it, but there's no CE documentation in the box. Uh, and it's price fixed, but it does work. OK. Well, enough of that frivolousness. I've said that before. <laughs> How would I rate it? Well, I would have rated it at about a 9 or 10 out of 10, yeah, had I not met that dealer. Now it's uh, 4 out of 10. Yeah. Great product. Crap dealer. <laughs> In fact, I'll go as far as to say, they're all crap dealers on this one, right? You go to a Line 6 dealer, and he's going to rip you off. Yeah, they're crap. They're rubbish dealers. Uh, price fixing, scheming gets. I've said it. Bring it on, and I'll show you the proof. <laughs> Get your dealers fixed, dudes. Oh, sorry, you don't want to, do you? No. Okay, so it's that low, out of ten. It does work. Would I recommend it? No, I'd recommend the Proel. That's actually it's actually over there. I'm looking at it now. Wireless microphone system. WM240. 2.4 gig wireless microphone system for £99 or $120 and it does the same. Till next time.